All right, coming up next, the wait is over for this heavyweight championship fight between Francis Ngannou and Steven Thompson. You ready? Here we go, round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're gonna go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Missed with that attempt. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Wonderboy Thompson. on that spinning attack. Boom! Big jab. What a body kick. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Thompson. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice head kick. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice. Got to land it clean. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be in it. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath, right. right? You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to go finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. Just misses with that one. Circling to his right. Nice kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Tags him with the left. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's gotta start blocking these, DC. One more and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Goes to the body there. And Ganu gets touched by that kick there. Uppercut attempt nearly connects, but no good. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Big legs. Big legs. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Under a minute now to go in the round. Let's go. Oh, that's a nice strike. And Ganu gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Trying to go to the bottom. Strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. 30 seconds to go. Whoa! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! He's out! He got him! Oh, my goodness. What a 
fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he 